you know, Tamara's had a great career here on and off the floor. Um, so it's, I know it, it seems like she's been here forever, but she's a young lady that her first year, she was freshman of the year in this conference and uh, freshman, sophomore year, we went to the NCAA tournament and she's been part of postseason play all four years because, I mean, we're going to play in in one tournament and we're, how our play uh, happens in the conference tournament will determine how, in which tournament we play in. So. After that, you know, being an all-freshman, she hasn't necessarily been in the starting lineup the whole time. Some yep. might leave the program. She's stuck around. I guess that means a lot to you. Yeah, it does. I, uh, for her, uh, she's been committed. She's a Florida kid. Um, yeah, after that freshman year, she got invited to USA trials in that, in that following summer. Uh, she's a kid that's just, you know, has had, uh, from the injury standpoint, so many issues. But she's been a fighter, and uh, she's continued to work and persevere, and she's played uh, multiple positions for us. Um, so at the end of the day, I think a lot of things that she's learned with her experience here academically, athletically, will prepare her to be very successful life after life after USF. Your thoughts on the game itself? You're, you're playing a team that's, that's won a couple in a row here. Yeah, and they haven't played in a while, so they've had some time to prepare for us. Um, the, the, the biggest thing that I think that really sticks out on, at you is how well they rebound the basketball. So uh, not only interiorly, but collectively, the perimeter guys. So I think we have to do a great job of that. It's going to start with that, how we limit them to one shot and out, and how we get extra possessions when we miss shots. Do you expect Christina to play at all? Do you expect Christina to play? I do not. No. I do not. You mentioned the postseason one way or the other. Uh, you're going to have a game today, Monday, and then it is kind of the postseason. Are you, are you feeling that vibe now? Is almost feeling like it's here. Yeah, because it's a quick turnaround, Derek. You know, we'll play at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Uh, we'll practice. <clears throat> we'll practice, uh, you know, in the morning on uh, on Sunday and then fly right up to Hartford and you got to shoot around. Mm-hmm. And right after the game, you get back here. We'll practice and lift on Tuesday and then you, li- you leave on Wednesday to, to Mohegan. So I, I think we'll get a much better idea, I think, tomorrow night after the games on where we're going to fall uh, seating-wise. So we'll see. We expected that she was going to come in and be an immediate impact. I mean, I think uh, at times that she's uh, she's learned the big difference between junior college and and being successful at a four at the four year and and the, the jump in talent level and preparation. So uh, I'm excited about her finishing off the year in a great note and and her having a great spring and summer to catapult her to finishing off with a great senior year next year. Elise has been playing 40 minutes pretty consistently here down the stretch. Mm-hmm. Do you think you're going to need that from her going into the conference tournament? So she's going to have to play a lot of minutes just because, you know, we try and get her some rest with Sydney Harvey. Sydney Harvey there, and I think Sydney is getting, you know, from a conditioning standpoint, playing more minutes. When you, when you lost Alvarez, we were playing Alvarez there out of position. But, you know, we, we expected, we, we didn't expect to lose uh, Mihaela Lazic after the first game of her career. So we've had to play some different people there that we didn't expect to. So, um, you know, yeah, I mean, there's, only, there's only about a month left in the season, hopefully, and she's going to play a lot of minutes down the stretch. Well, um, I'm going to try and take that game not to be so emotional. Um, it is an emotional night for me. Um, but. You know, I try to look at it as a, a game. Like, I have to go out there and play as hard as I can, as I always do. So um, try not to get as emotional just because it's a special emotional night for me. Your, your thoughts on, on playing for this program and, and being at this university? Well, it's, it, it's a great experience um, because of how much culture is around here. Um, the girls are always welcoming. The coaching staff is very welcoming. So it's just great to be here. You have an amazing campus and you have amazing staff and basketball team that are, are here. And it's just great. I guess it's gone by pretty quick in your mind. Do you even remember first stepping foot on campus? 
campus? Or, I mean, kind of describe your journey a little bit. Well, um, I actually committed at um, the camp that happens during the summer. So that was kind of a cool experience because uh, I know some of the coaches hadn't seen me before. And being able to um, see the head coach for the first time and him give you that opportunity to come here. Um, and I said yes. Um, it was kind of like one of those great experiences that, you know, you don't get back. Um, and just stepping foot here for the first day, it, it's it's new and uh, it's kind of scary at first. You're, you're a little bit nervous and, you know, you want to fit in with everyone. You want to not, you know, make anyone mad. But um, it, it has gone by so fast and uh, just having a lot of fun with my teammates and the coaches, it, it helped out a lot. I'm guessing you won that in your senior season too last as long as possible how do you think you guys are playing and do you think you can whatever the tournament is play for a lot longer um i definitely think we're you know going up from here um we're playing very well um as coach always says like our defense will determine our offense so and i think we're playing very good defense right now but that's just you know um buying into what coach is having us do in practice and understanding like he's going to put us in the best situations as possible so um, I, I do think we're playing very well right now, uh, but that's because of our defense. So um, I'm hoping that it just continues from here, and you know I keep getting, be, I keep being able to play um, as long as I can for this year. Now, I know you've seen him very close, um, and when Betty Madonna came in, you know, she's been very consistent this whole season. Was there anything that you did to kind of help her get acclimated to this climate? Um, I mean, Betty's a very strong person. Um, uh, it doesn't take a lot for her to understand or buy into a program. Um, so, I mean, I kind of helped her as much as she needed me to. Um, I was there for her if she ever needed help with like plays or if she just needed someone to talk to. Um, but she's a she's a very good player. So she kind of just stepped stepped here and bought into what you know USF had, and she's been great ever since. So. This coach talked about your being positioned to succeed in whatever endeavor you choose mm -hmm. in life. Just talk, what was the most valuable lesson that you feel your, your head coach has given you over the past couple of years? Um, he's given me the thought of you going out into the world, it's not going to be easy. Like you have to work for everything you have. And um, he definitely always pushes us to come in here and always put in as much work as possible. And um, he definitely gave me that to go out into the world. Like, it doesn't matter if, you know, the person coming in is younger than you or older than you. Like, you're going to have to work for everything you have. And he definitely always pushes us to be our best and to push us to continue and work as hard as we can. So that's definitely something he gave me for these four years. This team always gets great crowds for home games. It's been that way your whole career. How, how special has that been to be able to play in front of big crowds and have that type of support during home games your whole career? It's definitely been amazing. Um, I love the support system that we have here through the fans. Um, they definitely come up and they'll know your first name the day you come here. So it's really cool. Um, I appreciate them every day that they come and they come out and support. It's never a dull moment with these fans. So uh, I just love them and I love the support that they bring. Really important question. Maybe you're going to try and control yourself tomorrow night, or you're just going to let the emotions out. And, you know, what's have you thought about that? Um, I have thought about it, and that's one of those things I, I kind of kind of like veer off from looking at Anna because I know she's going to be emotional. But um, just not making eye contact with really any of the teammates. <laughs> but um, I'm definitely going to try and control it until at least the end. Okay. Um, if I don't, then I'll probably snap out of it like five minutes later. So um, it should be really fine. But I'm going to try and control it as much as possible.